Hey guys, this is Tech Zero Stickers Glue, and today I'm going to show you how you can route your Samsung Galaxy S i9000. Now, there's a couple of different routing methods sort of floating around the internet at the moment. There's a sort of one click method which uses the computer to actually execute the routing. This is the method I used, and it's not that one, it's the one that just uses the phone. I think it's the easiest and quickest one. It also has the advantages that you won't lose any settings, it literally just routes it and makes no difference to the phone apart from that whatsoever and it's really really quick so the first thing you need to do is go to the link in the bottom bar and download the update.zip file and put it on your computer or if you download it straight to the phone that'll make things quicker but for most people you probably download it on your computer you then need to get it to your phone via a USB port wirey thing which is plug in the top and you then pull down the top bar hit USB connected and mount it if you haven't got that mount option, you can go settings, applications, development, and then tag USB debugging, and that should give you the option. So you do that, put the file on the root of the internal SD card, and that's really important, it's the internal one, not the external one. And it shouldn't be in a folder, so it has to be right on the root of the card. When you've done that, you obviously just pull your bar down again, unmount it, pull the cord out, and then you need to power the device off. And it's literally this quick so you've just put the file on the root of the internal SD card, power it off you need to hold the volume up, power and home button all at the same time and then when the Samsung Galaxy S logo pops up you need to let go so you let go of them and now you should boot into the recovery if all goes well here we go and it should look something like this and the option you want is the second one down, it's apply SD card colon update dot zip and you can use the volume keys to navigate to it and when you've got that one you hit the home key to apply it, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it but you should do that and it may reboot your phone automatically, if it doesn't just pop back up to the reboot option after this is all run through and it says it's done and then just hit reboot and you can see it says rebooting and it should reboot your phone and you will now be rooted. So it really is that quick. You should probably be able to do this in under about three minutes if you're quite efficient and you've got a decent speed for downloading the file at the start. And there's several cool things you can do, but I'm not going to talk about them all in this video. But I will put a link here to the hack that fixes all the lag of the device and makes it the speed of about two Droid X's, which is fairly impressive. Um, if the link's not there, it's because you're viewing the video too early, but the link will be there as quickly as I can put it there and that should be a really nice fix which is really easy to apply once you've rooted it and you can check that you're rooted as well by just hitting into the applications tray and there should be an app called super user or super user permission I forget I'll have a look in a sec and it's like a little ninja man with a sniper rifle for some reason and if you got that there it means you're rooted I just see if my apps have loaded um, pum 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 so, I think it's really slow when you first boot up. Super user, super user. Alright. We are lagging like a bitch. This is ridiculous media scanning thing. Ugh. Obviously, if you want to just stop watching now, you should probably know what I mean when I say little ninja guy with a sniper rifle. Um, but, that one. There you go little ninja guy with a sniper rifle, super user permission. So if you've got that you're rooted and I also suggest you install BusyBox installer off the market and then use that to install the latest BusyBox version just because that lets you do the cool stuff like the hack which I'll show you how to do later. So this has been Tech Zero Stickers Glue, if you've got any comments just comment or message me if you want some questions answered. Obviously subscribe if you want to see any more Samsung Galaxy S videos or Android related stuff. Um, so yeah, this has been Tech Zero Stickers Glue. Hopefully this mic's alright, it's the first video I've done with this external mic, so I'm not really sure how it'll sound, but hopefully it's good, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Thanks for watching.